Well, joining me live is Courier Mal Columnist and Sky News contributor Des Houghton. Des, great to see you and good afternoon. So you've got a couple of very interesting articles in today's paper, one titled Bullies in Suits Wreck Hospitals, and it talks about Dr Philip Kay, a well-known doctor, has spoken out. What are his claims? Uh, Philip Kay was the um, emergency medicine director at the Princess Alexandra Hospital for 23 years, and he speaks with great authority. He says men in suits, bureaucrats from Queensland Health, bullied and abused uh, senior people at the hospital and forced them to cut corners to endanger patients' lives. Um, he's, he's really opened up on this. He thinks that uh, the hospital system in Queensland is at the point of collapse. And he points to the long delays in people getting ambulances. It could take you up to seven or eight hours uh, for an ambulance to turn up. Then you go to a hospital, one of the major hospitals, and you wait another seven hours before you get into emergency. In that time, uh, people are dying. He says it's not frequent. He said, but it's starting to happening. And he said it's a sign the system is, is in collapse. He blames the people in suits, as he calls them. He says the bureaucrats uh, make decisions that are really clinical decisions that have a negative impact on patient health. And he thinks uh, there should be a new system where they're bypassed and perhaps funding from Canberra could go straight to hospitals and get rid of all the bureaucrats. And you're going to be looking at this and investigating it even further, aren't you? And I believe there'll be another article in next week's paper. I have got some more to come on this, Janie. Yes, uh, where we go from here and where we should build hospitals. All right. And uh, another interesting article, Des, Tad judged Lord of the Show Ring. Tell us about that story. Yes. Uh, Janie, Tad was, is, is a Charolais bull, um, over 1,000 kilos, a massive animal. He was made the champion of champions at the Royal Show and he now goes uh, to a life of um, uh, in the paddock where he's expected to sire 40 uh, calves a year. He does that for about eight years until he's no longer useful and then he's sent to the abattoir. But right now, he's the top, he's the top of the top. All right, and Gina, uh, Reinhardt's made another bold in entry into the global restaurant trade with a mouthwatering new premium beef steak. Tell us about that one. Uh, Gina Reinhardt's company, S. Kidman & Co., has created a new steak from a, a, a bunch of different um, animals, Murray Grays, um, Wagyu, and she has a composite uh, breed, and she's selling steaks from that under the S. Kidman label. Kidman, of course, was Stanley Kidman, the great cattle king in Australia, uh, who left home at 13 and ended up cre creating one of the biggest business empires on earth, certainly biggest number of cattle, and owned a lot of land out there. Well, Des, always great to see you in uh, great reads in the Courier Mail and uh, online as well on News Court Papers. And um, we will see you same time next week with uh, more on your stories and that uh, investigation in Queensland again with the doctors. Very interesting indeed. Have a great weekend. All the very best.